Welcome to another episode of Universe Mode. In today's video, I'm going to do the Money in the Bank Qualifiers match. The first match is going to be between Cody Rhodes and Gunther. And the second match for today will be the marquee match between CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, which we are not getting in real life. We'll do it in the Red 24. I'll see when the match starts. And the first match is between Gunther and Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, a former undisputed champion in my Universe Mode. Gunther, the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. In my universe, rarely defeated in any match in universe mode. All thanks to his incredible moveset in the game. Kanta starts off with a big lariat into a knee to Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes hasn't had the best of universe mode. Like win to loss ratio, he doesn't have really good of amount of wins to get a chance directly for the undisputed title or the heavyweight title. Heavyweight title is the raw version, so he doesn't get opportunity directly for it. John Cena recently lost to repeat in I think the Night of Champions pay-per-view. Repeat absolutely dominated him. So that was good for me. Like I created a good AI. Cody Rhodes finally reverses a move from Gunther and whips him. And goes for just a kick to the gut. Gunther finally has lesser health than Cody Rhodes. He wanted to go for a big close line. Gunther catches him and just throws him with a big slam. Slams him down actually. Gunther now. He's just playing with Cody Rhodes at this point. Turns his, snaps his neck in half. And now raking the eyes of Cody Rhodes. This is really bad. Cody Rhodes reversed that one but the damage has been done. Cody Rhodes goes for the cover on Gunther. Gunther is going to kick out with these at one. Gunther is a really dominant performer. You don't give him signature or finisher very early on in the match. Because some missions are difficult to kick out obviously. They break up in this game. And a lot of settings don't facilitate easy breakage of reversal, sorry, signatures. Gunther now has a finisher. He might go for the Emerald Flosion, which is the worst version of his finisher. But he still likes to go for it. Gunther might convert it into a power bomb. No, he doesn't. He slams him on the apron and just throws him on the LED lights. There's no LED light over there, actually, but it acted like one because the default setting of the game. They don't customize it in a do they? Minus the backstage thingy, we don't customize arenas at all. Gunther wanted to go for the power bomb. Cody rolls with a big reverse. He goes for the pedigree. That also gets reversed. Cody almost has a signature. He reverses that move. Reverse DDT. He now has a signature. The finisher almost had a finisher, but now he doesn't. He's going for the big knee to the face. This doesn't have a second reverse. Gunther instantly recovers. Flips Cody rolls around. Goes for a big elbow. Damages the head of Cody Rhodes. Now both men have taken equal damage to the heads. Cody Rhodes has taken more damage to the body because Gunther. And only Gunther can do it. I'm still excited for CM Punk's debut in my universe mode. And a big discus clothesline from Gunther to end that combo. And a big knee. Gunther is still not that good in game like he is in real life. He is facing Cody Rhodes. And he's playing really well but... I expect him to perform way better than this. Cody Rhodes doesn't go for a finisher. He wants to whip him into the corner. Charles Robinson is in the way. And Cody Rhodes desperately throws him out of the ring. Close lines him out of the ring actually. Cody Rhodes taunting Gunther to get up. If this gets reversed, this is going to be bad. But it doesn't get reversed. Gunther finally loses enough health to have his health in the red zone. Now he will never be able to get to the green health zone in this match. Like proper green health zone. Reversal of Cody into a Bulldog. Cody Rose is really quick, proficient in this match so far. I think he's once again one. I think I thought he was going for a top, top rope move again, but he's waiting for Gunther to get up. I think he wants to go for the dive. He wants to work the match. But Gunther has come back to the ring and Cody Rose has done nothing about it. Cody Rose wants to go for the crossroads. Gunther also reverses a finisher. Drop kicks him off to the out of the universe. And now slamming his head on the mat. Gunther now has a signature and a finisher. He will have it after this. Another eye rake. This time it connects. Gunther wanted to go for a big boot. He misses and now a dodge. Doesn't go for the lariat. He just goes for a suplex. On Cody Rose he doesn't reverse it. Now Gunther can go for a sleeper slam. But Cody Rose is recovering very quickly. I was wrong, Gunther can get to the green zone very easily. Finally a pedigree attempt from Cody Rhodes. This might be a tired pedigree. No, it isn't. 
Gunther now powers him up for a beer hammer. And now he goes for the cover. Did enough damage, I think, according to him. But Cody Rhodes kicks out it too. A former undisputed champion in the universe mode. He won't go out this easily. Does he go for the scoop slam? I think he wanted to go for So he wanted to go for the scoop slam, couldn't connect with it. And now he goes for the big elbow. And now Gunther will go for the power bomb. He goes for the power bomb, connects with it. On Cody Rhodes, he might use resiliency. Cody Rose uses resiliency against Gunta. Gunta has been dominating a good chunk of the latter half of the match. Now Gunta is on the apron, so is Cody Rhodes. Unfortunately, they don't have a proper two men on the apron move, otherwise, it would have been really good. Only like tripping the other person down move, kind of. It's not that good. It's training blows, many games. They just started. Gunta chopping down Gun. Gunta chopping down Cody. Let's see who wins this. I think there has been no reversal. Okay, this is the first reversal. Cody with a couple of shots to Gunther. Cody looks like he's going to win this one against Gunther. And use his resiliency. No. Okay, cool. Gunther also reversed that one. So this is a very equal one. This might come down to the wire. This might be a punch out in the end. Gunther with a reversal. But Cody Rhodes comes out and top. And now he goes for the disaster kick, drops Gunther down on the mat, he rages himself up, he has a super finisher. If he goes for it, Gunther is going to be out of this, but a big lariat on Cody Rhodes, he's down, he's stunned, but Gunther doesn't go for a finisher. He tries his luck, tries to go for a cover, C Cody Rhodes barely kicks out, Gunther could have won this with Cody Rhodes having a finisher, this might get reversed. So many consecutive finishes doesn't hit. But Gunther hits it. He is Gunther. He dominates Cody Rhodes in this match. This is going to be the end of Cody Rhodes. And his Money in the Bank qualifying chances. Cody Rhodes saves his chances for double Money in the Bank opportunity. He won the Money in the Bank in the previous year's uh, game. Forgot to mention that for some reason. And a big knee to the face. Gunther should try not to, to give Cody Rose any chance otherwise he is out of this match super finish at this point it's over there's no chance Gunther is kicking out of him so either Gunther needs to reverse the super finisher or he needs to protect himself for a very long time a big elbow that misses Cody Rose has the opportunity he isn't going for the super finisher now he does I think he wants to go for it. he turns him around super finisher Cody Rose with a trinity crossroads on Gunther this is a very hard fought match and this is a good result for Cody Rhodes and he is going to win this against the ring general. Charles Robinson goes for the cover, Gunther doesn't kick out and Cody Rhodes defeats the ring general. A rare defeat for the ring general as Cody Rhodes might try to defend his money in the bank throne. I don't know what that they call it. He might want to make it two times in a row as Cody Rhodes celebrates his win. I think. Kanta could have won this, but Cody Rhodes with that trading blows mini game, he had the upper hand. He just need to get the reversal down. Kanta fought well. But Cody Rhodes in the end survives and will get a shot at the second money in the bank victory. He failed the first time around, by the way. Nothing better than pitting two rivals against each other in video games. So CM Punk and Drew McIntyre will face off for their chance at Money the Bank ladder match. CM Punk wanted to go for a move and he connects with the big neck breaker. Both men sprinted towards each other. That's the spirit I want. That's the aggression I want from these two men. Drew McIntyre, a much bigger man, powering CM Punk up with a tilt world slam, not a bank breaker. He usually likes to go for the backbreaker, but Drew McIntyre is a powerful man. He can just toss 
almost every man in this roster around even Braun Strowman I can believe he can toss around it Drew McIntyre is so strong but a reversal to hold from CM Punk he wanted to go for the knee Drew McIntyre reverses him CM Punk is going to get suplexed by the Bulldog reversal from Drew McIntyre and he rolls out he is not a heel in the universe more but for some reason he is acting like one backsplode attempt from CM Punk connects CM Punk the lone carrier of the PG era team and the generations collide in my universe so again a tournament mode I don't know, I still don't have a name. I'll just call it the quick play mode. Drew McIntyre tried to storm the fragile legs of CM Punk. Didn't work the second time around a big close line. I don't think that connected. CM Punk is favoring his leg at the, at this point. He's taking a lot of damage towards his legs. Now working the arms which he broke in real WWE. And stomp right to the head of CM Punk. Good move and a big clothesline. CM Punk is in big trouble. Drew McIntyre is just manhandling CM Punk. I wanted to have this match as a finish in a while, but it didn't sound that good. CM Punk has a signature. I don't know how he has it so quickly, but he has a signature. He goes for a whip, does Drew McIntyre. Big elbow drops. CM Punk, I still don't know how he has a signature. Both men had an idea of a straightening move. CM Punk goes for a cover after he slipped. Wow. <laughs> Drew McIntyre is like getting owned and now he goes for the white noise. Drew McIntyre with a big finisher. Sheamus esque finisher. Charles Robinson. Why are you looking like that? His blonde hair got blurred away. Thanks to the filter. Instant recovery. Possum attack gets foiled. Drew McIntyre is going for the future shock. DD the same move that injured Punk, but he is going to reverse it into an arm drag. And CM Punk almost has a finisher now. He has a finisher. He almost has a signature. He is going for a drag instead. And McIntyre is going to make him pay for that. Chopping him down once again. Powering him up for a sidewalk stance this time around. CM Punk is taking a lot of damage to his body. Working the legs of uh, McIntyre. Going for a pedigree-esque move. But it's just a backbreaker of the butterfly suplex. The butterfly underhook and now CM Punk is looking at him setting up for the GTS go to sleep this does have a second reversal McIntyre reverses he knows what Punk wanted to do same with uh, CM, uh, McIntyre he also got reversed both men have reversed each other's finisher but the only advantage McIntyre has he has hit a finisher but now almost at same health are the both men because once you fall off that green health range the hell goes out very quickly. A single leg drop kick on the setting position. And once again, Punk goes for a cover on McIntyre. He's going to kick out this time too. Big sorry too. He has iron jaw. So if CM Punk delays his cover attempt, that's going to be bad. CM Punk once again is chopping down with a big knee. And now CM Punk is going top row. I think he's going for a signature. He is going for a big elbow. I think that's Macho Man Randy Savage's elbow. Once again, that iron jaw failed. CM Punk was very clever. He went for the cover. McIntyre still kicks out. But that could have been bad. So he wastes his iron jaw. And CM Punk with an advantage and big close line of the springboard. Both men have finishers. But who is going to hit their finisher first? Both men are almost at equal stances at this point. CM Punk goes for the GTS. Connects with it. McIntyre is going to be out of this. If he didn't have residency. He does have residency. Please use it, McIntyre. McIntyre uses residency against Punk. But McIntyre now has a finisher. Punk says the time is up for McIntyre. And this is his time. But a claymore on CM Punk by Drew McIntyre. You never gloat against the big man. And Punk also uses residency. This is the match I wanted. Both men use the residency in like less than a minute. McIntyre is going top row. If this connects, a lot of bones will break. Elbow drop. Fortunately, that's not a splash. He's going to chance his luck. Try his luck once again. Punk barely kicks out. Punk could have been covered right there. He barely had power to kick out there. He is just one big move away from not kicking out next time. But he has a recovery attempt. He has a reverse hit. He has iron jaw, but not a rage meter for some reason. Neck break attempt. Just forward with a chop by CM Punk but he's going for a Michinoku driver through McIntyre he is smart he just uses power to his advantage and just 
and then put Punk down to the mat. You weaken him a lot that he can't power him up, but that thing doesn't exist in the game. I think the tired finisher should be based on uh, body damage more than stamina, in my honest opinion. Like if a Punk has damage to his torso, he will be not be able to hit GTS very easily. Like it should be a tired finisher. That's a mechanic I want in this game. Either way, McIntyre working him in on the turnbuckles. CM Punk almost has a signature, so does McIntyre, but CM Punk is leading the race at the moment. A big kick and a counter wide scrape attempt from Punk, but Drew McIntyre caught him midway. I think he might go for it once again, but again, McIntyre was very quick, which you know could drive a movie has been hit so many times, he know how, knows how to reverse it. He has fought Cena about a thousand times in his career. Actually, that's not true, but... Punk is going top rope, he wants to go for that elbow drop once again, he connects on McIntyre, he has two more finishers. McIntyre might be out of this, Punk is going to win against Drew McIntyre as CM Punk is the second man to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. This is a very stacked Money in the Bank ladder match as CM Punk wins his debut match in my universe mode. He eliminated repeat and Batista in Royal Rumble but that doesn't count as an in-ring debut CM Punk. Is going to face Cody Rose and six other men in the Money in the Bank ladder match. If you like today's universe mode video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. I'll see the next two matches, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a really good day.